Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, it's Paul Yester here. And as you probably know, Dead by Daylight is currently implementing a plan to do a graphic pass through on all of the maps in Dead by Daylight slowly but surely through the rest of this year and throughout 2021. We've already seen some examples of this where they started initially with the Springwood maps, all the Freddy maps got upgraded as well as the Amoka estate maps. And uh, most recently we've seen all of the Macmillan estate maps get upgraded and now they plan on doing this with every chapter and every mid chapter and as we approach a new chapter there's going to be some more maps that are upgraded and uh so let's look at this tweet where we started this journey giving us information about what maps are going to be upgraded next so it started on november 2nd with this tweet here what if we updated the graphics on ormond or auto haven ha ha jk unless and then they had a poll and I voted with the majority for Auto Haven because I want to see the green tint go away. I'm, I'm ready to be done with that. That was on November the 2nd. And then they updated us on the stats of that here. Orman was 39% and change. Auto Haven was 60% and change. That makes 100%. So we did both. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come. This was on November the 5th. And they gave us these artist renditions of the uh, Ormond Resort and uh, some of the Auto Haven maps here. But we'll return to that in a minute. And then finally, the tweet today was pictures of a typical day in Canada. Kidding, it's a preview of the new Mount Ormond Resort. And we got these four photos here. That was today. So now I'm going to go in depth and we'll look at all of the photos that they provided us with uh, today and the artist renditions from a couple days ago. Okay, so we're gonna start with this one here. This is the Wretched Shop from Auto Haven here. And again, the first batch of photos here are just artist renditions, but I'm just so excited to get rid of the green tint on everything and just bring in that more natural light. I know that the devs are excited to do this too, get more natural lighting, and they wanna take advantage of that ray tracing technology for lighting and reflection and stuff. So it's gonna be exciting to see where they can actually go on all of these maps. Nothing really remarkable here, in my opinion. Is that, wait a minute, is that is that the new survivor? Who, who's this fella? And who is this fella? Is this Sam and Dean from Supernatural? No, I'm just kidding. Don't freak out, everybody. <laughs> Don't freak out. Uh, we see the nice neon sign here with the, um, the automotive repair here above the shop. Garage sign down, disrepair. Is this uh, the door knocked off its hinges? Be interesting to see what we have here for breakable walls if breakable walls come in to this map so i like this are we going to update the cars going to update the cars that's pretty snazzy over here on this side all right let's move on next slide please okay so this is in the interior of the uh the gas heaven gas station this is pretty interesting this is wide open in the middle the way everything is turned kind of at an angle it'll be interesting to see once we're in game, how that's going to work. Um, I like these touches over here. Hey, let me zoom in on this. Go over here. Hey, who is this little gas station attendant man, by the way? Like, what is this? this is going to be a future costume? Like, what, why is that just sticking up? What is that thing? Oh, sorry, I'm blocking it. There. He's tipping his cap. It's like the Texaco man there. BD service. This is going to be a future cosplay for a uh, future cosmetic for somebody. I love all these stickers, like all the forms of payment that they take on the window. It's like what you typically see in an old gas station. I love that. I can't wait to see what this looks like in game. So this says complete. Complete line 2003. Does that mean that the Wraith is one of the more recent additions to the fog under 20 years ago that's pretty interesting because we don't really have the timetable for everyone here the typical three coolers there and then this is going to be where you usually have the the truck and the generator back in this room over here that's cool motor oil stands and then here Salted peanuts, don't we have enough salt in this game? Like, come on, really? I think there's enough salt in Dead by Daylight. We need to get rid of those peanuts. But I love the look of this with the uh, the lights all hanging askew from up above. That looks really cool. 
Yeah, that's... I can't wait to see what these look like. What is this? Is this the back? What, is there a sign at the back? What's happening here? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, next, moving on, we have... So this is one of the uh, Mount Ormond Resort maps. And uh, it looks like they put more detail into the graffiti. Uh, like, I don't see the Legion... Like, where's Jeff's Legion mural? It's not existing anymore? What's happening with that? <laughs> here, <laughs> here's the painting that Jeff made. Right here. This is it. Here, here you go, kids. Here you go, kids. <laughs> here's your painting for your little your little club. This one right here. That's what you get. I don't know. what What is that? So we see the snows come in. A lot of debris. Uh, even the glass here. I blew it up too much. Even the glass here on the left, it's got paint all over it. Just graffiti everywhere. All right, next, what do we got here? Okay, so this is one of the rooms upstairs. And for the first time, you actually get a feel that it's a guest room. I don't know that it ever conveyed that to me before. When you see the bureau and the television, the end table, the mattress up against the wall, it actually looks like it's an actual guest room at the resort. Uh, the ceiling is all in disrepair. And there's some writing up here in the rafters. Let me uh, let me zoom in on that if I if I can here. We'll move up to this corner. So let's see here. So this says B I T C. Okay, that's enough reading for now. What the heck? Okay, so it looks like this is the same thing in reverse here on this side, and then there's actually a name here. Chris Travis. It's backwards. Let me move this so you can see. Right in the corner there. Chris Travis. Who's Chris Travis? Is that the new survivor's name? Is that the artist's name? Who Who is that? What is that doing here? Apparently someone thinks that Chris Travis is a B-I-T-C. Well, anyway. But hey, backwards writing. You know what that means. That means it's shining confirmed. Red rum. Backwards writing. Gotta be, right? Okay, and moving on to the batch we got today, you see the front of the Mount Orman Resort here. Is this more artist rendition or is this in-game footage? I'm genuinely having a hard time telling. I think it's artist rendition. So you see uh, a low-level fence here off on the right-hand side. Rock pile with snow on top here, right in front of the resort. And this is that um, the ski routes board. They've changed that up a bit, and uh, it's probably hard to see. Actually, if I zoom in, you can see that you can actually read the name of the resort here on the front. In there. Mount Orman Resort. That's pretty cool. Uh, next one, what do we got? So this is the inside of the chalet, and you can see that it looks like they completely removed that sunken floor where the fireplace is in the middle. They raised that up to be on uh, level footing with everything else here. What else can we notice from this? Let's, uh, yeah, let's zoom in on the bottom. See what's going on down here on the bottom. There's the gen. Look at all the nice shadows from fireplace grills and everything. That's pretty cool. We got a bunch of pizza boxes here. Some pizza boxes and some beer bottles and beer cans laying about. What else? Furniture. Cozy up to the fireplace in one of these all back chairs. It's, that looks very comfy and cozy. More beer bottles around the fireplace. Yeah, the most interesting thing to me here is the way they have reworked this fireplace that they made it into a square instead of a circle and it's not sunken in anymore so that's pretty cool what else next okay so this is huh this is interesting over here so it looks like they're creating kind of a, a loop over here and you can peek through this glass you'll be able to cheat through there it looks like and see for mind gaming what does this say Mount Orman Resort on the front. And then the top, Mount Orman. Ski and snowboard rental. 
Wow, there's an old computer there. What's happening there? That's pretty cool. Can't wait to look at all this stuff. So you can uh, get your ski boots over here. Is that what's happening there? What else? This is just some luggage pile waiting on the the bellhop wooden bench there to change change into your ski boots, I guess. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, okay, so the luggage cart, and then you can see through this bottom of the glass entirely, and the poster's gonna block the top. That's pretty cool. I want to see that in game. That looks like. Huh. Wonder. Oh. Is it a poster or is it just like a blind pulled down not sure guess we'll have to check that out in game what else what the heck is that oh you guys can't see it because my there what the heck is this thing what, what is this what is that another one up there what is this what is going on here what are these things what is that what the heck is that is it a pop-up book what is that I have no idea. Maybe once I'm in game, it'll be completely obvious to me. But right now, it looks like some kind of a monster crawling out of a pop up book. Rah! What is that? And it looks like there's more of them up here, whatever that is. What is that? It's probably something. Some skier person knows what it is, and they're like, You're dumb, Polly. It's blah, blah, blah. I don't know what that is. Huh. Alright, that looks pretty cool. More graffiti. And last one? Okay, so this is again inside of one of the rooms here, and we got a breakable wall over here. Mattress up on the wall, TV bureau, same idea here. Wait a minute. What is this? It's a teddy bear. Look at it. There's a little baby teddy bear right there. What the heck? Oh, that's so cute. Whose teddy bear is that? That's adorable. What the heck? All right, I think that's about it. So again, whenever um, the next chapter should come out, I'm expecting to see all of the Auto Haven maps and Mount Ormond spiffied up. Can't wait to see it. I'm going to be so happy to say goodbye to the green tent. I know there's people who are just hanging on and they're like, man, I like the green tent and the blue tent for McMillan. Not me. I'm ready to leave it all behind and go with more natural lighting. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be great. So what do you think of these images here? Which maps are you most excited to see change? If any. Whose teddy bear do you think that is? <laughs> that's something. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. As always, thank you so much for watching. And take care of each other in and out of the fog. See you next time. Bye-bye.